Hey guys, welcome to the Flat Boys Micro P51 Flat Stang build. Take a look here and you'll see your foam parts, your carbon rods. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be installing these carbon rods. You have a 7 inch and a 10 inch. 10 inch goes in the wing across this slot here and the 7 inch goes across here across the uh, tail section. And we're going to go ahead and glue that in. At this point you want to go ahead and cut your stickers out and start applying them to both sides of your foam. Example, this sticker goes here where these little cutouts are for the machine guns. As you can see, just like that. I've already made the dog ear. You're just going to align it like this. Don't worry if it overlaps or underlaps a little bit. We can always cut off the overlay. It should be a very close fit. There we go, that's not bad. Our next step is start cutting these little bri bridge tabs that hold the parts in place. You can see them here. Alright, let's cut all our parts out. Uh, you ne need to get some scotch tape. And what we're going to do is install our elevator. Now you notice one side has an angle to it. And with the carbon facing down, we're just going to align this, take a long piece of tape, overlap the entire part, splitting the difference, flip this over, and trim this edge. What we're going to do is install the AR6400. I've used the vapor brick as well. You notice that we have a slot here for the antenna and a, and a dugout slot here for the wires. And of course the whole thing's pocketed. It's your choice. You can put Velcro in here to attach it so you can pull this out later or I'm just going to put four dabs of hot glue on each corner of this board but staying away from where these gears have to turn. I'm also going to put a blob underneath where the antenna is, just at the tip. If you notice on the main wing, you have two routed lines. Now with the carbon facing down, I'm going to slide this wing into the slot on the body. And while you're doing it, just look on the bottom and align those two milled lines there. They're there basically so you can center this. Try to get them evenly, split the difference between the line. Take some CA and just run a bead down all four sides. While you're letting that set up, make sure that it's straight as you look down on it. We can add these. These basically with the Flatboys logo on the outside, this main tab slides down into this slot here. You can do a dry fit, pull that back out. I'm going to put a little bit of CA on the bottom here. Let's do the other side. Now we're going to go ahead and install the two landing gear struts. These go just like this, with the long side facing towards the back. This is the front of the aircraft. Okay, just make sure that you bend the elevator slightly. Try to work it in a little bit. For this stage, we're going to install our control horns and our push rods onto the circuit board. Uh, we also have the push rod holders, basically keep it from bending. We're using the hot glue gun for this. You notice these two slots here, that's where these are going to go. And they stand straight up, just like that. Okay, same thing with, with one of your control horns. It's going to be installed right here. Cut one of your push rods at 5 inches in length. Now I usually go to the very bottom hole here, front push rod. I also install this on the very back hole facing this way. Okay so we've inserted the push rod. We have the tubes over top connecting the two wire ends. Take your other piece of carbon fiber. Cut it at 6 inch length. Make sure that you move this down to be even with this back line of the groove here. On this one, we're not going to install the control horn or the back wire or the heat shrink tubing just yet. Okay, we have our push rods installed. Make sure you look at it and make sure it's straight. Okay, that looks good. Okay, at this point we're going to install the, the top 
to the fuselage. Okay. These tabs here where the stickers did not come all the way to the end, you're going to want to pinch those so we can easily slide this motor mount over top of them. Now there should be a little bit of a play here where you can tilt this either way. You might want to add a little bit of right here and you can even add a little bit of down. If you hold it like this, it's very important with these little planes that everything is aligned just right. If you get a ding on one wing tip, it can change the way it flies completely. I just take some scotch tape, tape a loop from one side completely around that motor mount. And I do that on all four of these. This part right here that was split, we're going to tape that together. Looks good. Let's take our rudder. We're basically just going to install that right on here. I do want you to take note that there is a small hole here. You're going to have to take your knife and uh, poke through it. If we're putting it on opposite the side that has the angle. We're basically going to install our rudder like this. We're going to go ahead and glue that control horn on. I want you to notice here, there's a notch back here, and that is basically where you're going to lock into. Now there will be a gap at the top there. You want that gap there, that that's what keeps it so we can go like this with it basically. And tape the rest of this rudder. Looks good. You want to locate your heat shrink tubing and your wire for the back end of the push rod. I'm going to put this on the hole closest to the actual rudder. Just make sure that your rudder is straight. I'm going to put a drop of CA right there. Okay, our rudder's attached. Now remember, if you have to make any real adjustments, you can always squeeze this together here or push it apart as well to move it the opposite way. All right, we're going to install our landing gear. If you look close at the landing gear, one says L and one says R for left and right. Put the L on this side and face it in like you see here. You basically want to set them up just like you see them there. You want to take the wheel like this. If you see it, the wire is in the front, just like you see it here, and pop it into this landing gear. Now you'll notice you can only go so far and then it hits this tab here. You have to pop it over that. On this one, same thing, the wire's facing me into the front. Slide that on, pop it over the tab, and it's locked on. Keep them this way, the way you're seeing them here with the left and right, because we're, we're wanting to glue them on just like this, facing the same way that we have them sitting right here. Try to look at them both and make sure they're straight, best that you can. Okay, that looks good. Let's let that dry. Okay, on this step we're going to install our tail wheel. Now, a good way to test is if you get down low, you'll see the belly is really close to the ground here where this scoop is. So, you want to kind of eyeball where you want that. And I'm just going to run some glue right on here. Now, you might want to put it, you might want to lift this sticker and put it under there. It's up to you guys. And then I'm going to take a piece of tape and sandwich that. Okay, that looks good. A little uh, tip, if you're very careful, put your finger on here and bend these landing gear out a little bit. But be careful because these are just two foam blocks. When you're coming in for a landing, it grabs the ground a little bit quicker, which is nice. Uh, our next step is to put some Velcro on here. I try to keep the Velcro right about midpoint. I like to take the Velcro, I get these square strips, and I just cut them right in half. Usually the front of your battery lines up with this tooth right here and then the rest of it goes that way. So I'm using these 150 milliamp batteries and then you would just simply plug it in here. I don't have this bound yet but it's ready to go. Uh, one tip, I like to pinch all the leading edges that I can access of this plane so that there's not so much drag. But that's it. Congratulations on the build. Combat ready, so grab a couple of them and go to town.